count will continue at least the next two weeks and perhaps indefinitely, according to Facebook. Joining me now with more CNN chief media correspondent Brian Stelter. Uh, Brian, uh, I'm not sure if any Facebook has done this to any other major leader in the world, but certainly it's uh, quite stunning. Yes, it is unprecedented. I saw a tech reporter on Twitter just now saying the dam is finally breaking, whether that's regarding the 25th Amendment or now Facebook's action. Here is the statement from Mark Zuckerberg explaining this decision, saying, we believe the risks of allowing the president to continue to use our service during this period are simply too great. Therefore, we are extending the block we have placed on his Facebook and Instagram accounts indefinitely and for at least the next two weeks until the peaceful transfer of power is complete. Let's just think about what that means. Facebook, one of the biggest companies in the world, is afraid that the outgoing president will use its platforms to continue to incite violence and riots. And so it is taking away his megaphone. That is an extraordinary step. Many people will say it is too little too late. That Facebook is should have done this months ago when, when Trump talked about, say, when the looting starts, the shooting starts. Trump has posted other incendiary tweets and Facebook posts in the past. But finally, these tech companies are stepping up. We know that he's been blocked on Twitter for 12 hours. We don't know exactly when that Twitter blockade will end and what Twitter will do to enforce its rules. But we know he only has one more strike on Twitter. We are seeing corporate America take, take extraordinary steps, Anderson, to try to protect the public from the president.